Hey, what's up? It's your boy G, back again. Here, just wanted to tap in, holler at you for a minute. You know, just uh, it's a bit windy today, but um, wanted to just sit down and um, you know have a little talk with you. You know, um, as a uh, as an artist and content creator here on YouTube. It's been one hell of a journey, and uh, I've really enjoyed it, you know, all the way. So um, I encourage others, you know, to definitely um, start a YouTube channel if you're an artist, if you're a designer. Um, it's a great way to, um, you know, cultivate your own community, you know, um, which is something that can be a bit difficult for artists to do without the support of like art galleries or other um, institutions really promoting them. Or, you know, say for instance, if an institution doesn't like your work, then you don't get promoted, right? You can't build your own community. So then you have to go and do things that you may not want to do as an artist. But here on YouTube, you have the uh, possibility to um, really grow your own community. And, um, you know, I think that's, that's phenomenal especially as an artist, because, you know, we, we need a community to um, support us, support our work. And whatever kind of work that you do, you can find that support here on YouTube. I mean, it's, it's worldwide. So, you know, I, I watch art, other artists' videos that do art and lifestyle here on YouTube, and they're from all different places of the world. It's just amazing, you know, the reach that um, YouTube has um as a platform um I, I just don't see any other platform that can compete with that so and especially catering to artists that may do work that people may not find i guess you know likable or common right like i, I see a lot of um, abstract artists um being successful on youtube art that maybe like the common person may not understand and maybe like some other gallery may look at it and just be like, no, we're not putting that in here, right? But there's a platform on it, it's, uh, it's called YouTube. And you can put your art that you love to do on the channel. And it's amazing how YouTube tends to find a community for pretty much everything, right? They find the, the people that will connect, maybe not right away, it takes time, right? But over time, they tend to be, they tend to have a very successful rate of finding individuals um, and bringing them together on this platform in such a unique way. So if you are an artist, I really do encourage you to start a YouTube channel. I think that'll be in your best interest. Maybe not in the immediate, but it could be in the long term, um, just over time. Just like everything, right? With art, it takes time. It takes time to create. It takes time to build. So, you know, I, I wouldn't say like it's an overnight success type thing. I, I'm not, that's not what I'm encouraging or, or, or trying to sell you on or push. But I'm just saying like, it's just a, a really great way to put your work out there and get some sort of um, community ar around it, right? Um, just sort of start building a following um, because you never know what happens over time. I'm just saying like, you know, a lot of artists, they do shows. I go to art galleries, they, they, they do the show. And then after the show, that's pretty much it. If, you know, they don't sell anything during the show, I mean, you pretty much may not hear from them ever again. Whereas on YouTube, every day, there's a possibility of being discovered or, I, I, I don't wanna confuse the words of being discovered. It's kind of like Christopher Columbus discovering something that was already in existence. But I'm, what I'm saying is, is that, um, you know, someone who may not know that you exist, right? Um, and a lot of times artists are introverts. They're not extroverts, right? They're not out promoting. And a lot of times, especially if you went to art school, you've been trained to have other people promote you. You're not trained or encouraged to promote yourself, which I think is detrimental to the artist completely. Like, there should be all sorts of marketing and promotional um, classes and art schools to help artists promote themselves, teach them that 
discipline. It's absolutely, I'm sorry, it's absolutely necessary because when you get outside of art school and you get into the real world, there are so many marketing and promotional people that if you want to make a living, you know, you'd have to learn a skill like graphic design. And there are people that are trained to actually promote and advertise, right? And that's how they generate revenue so that they can sustain themselves. And most of the time they use artists to create these um, designs so that they can do so. So, you know, a lot of times that's, I don't know, I used to get so frustrated with art school. Like, I'm like, how are we gonna make a living? You know, like, I mean, like all of the paint stuff costs money. When you go to the paint, when you go to the art store, the paint costs money, the brushes cost money, the canvas costs money. Everything costs money, and you know you're you're trained to just be like, oh, don't worry about that. Just focus on the art. You also have to eat. <laughs> you know, you also need nourishment. You need food. So like, just to be, you know, I don't know, just constantly being told to not worry about things that were very essential to your existence to be able to create the art was just kind of, you know, it was, it was just very disturbing. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't find that to be, I didn't, I didn't like that at all. Um, but again, you can, this, this platform YouTube allows artists to get the exposure and the algorithm and the things that they have set up help promote you as an artist. And that's something that, you know, um, you can take advantage of. That's all I'm saying, it's another option. Something to think about, um, it's been helpful for me, it's been helpful for millions of other people as well. You know, not just for me, I've uh, given a testimony. I'm just sharing, you know, I'm just sharing my truth and you can test it out for yourself and see if it works for you. If not, find, you know, find something else to do or, you know, find something else that'll help you. But here on the Hildebrand Lifestyle channel, I, I just try to, anything that can help others, I try to promote it. You know, I try to um, enlighten you or um, give you my, my, you know, before I even tell you to do something, I've tried it. So I'm not just saying like, oh, go out and do this. You know, I hope it works for you. I've actually tried it. Um, and for years, you know, I, I was frustrated. Like, oh man, this is just not working. But over time, I'm like, wow, you know, you come back, you look. You're like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that to happen. When did that happen? How did that happen? Right? And just constantly working at it, just like with anything else, right? It's like building a muscle. You, know? you keep working at it before you know it, you got big muscles. Or, you know, you're, you're, you're looking better in your tone. So just give it a shot. Check it out. I encourage it. You know, definitely think about um, starting a, a definitely a YouTube channel. All right, guys. With that being said, I hope you find this information to be helpful. Um, I'm going to go out and chill out and enjoy some of this beautiful scenery and weather here in Thailand. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Make sure you click the next video. I got more information to share with you guys in this next video that's coming up. All right. Peace, love, and everything.